Sorry. Right, I've just bought my hard drive on my on my Apple iPhone 5S. And I bogged it to the point where I can't delete any files. I have to dump it onto my desktop and let the desktop do the deletion. So now I'm just going to do another quick demo. So there you go. We're going to end the system now. So now we've got to basically now, I think we're going to go black and white for a change. So for those who are not familiar with copier art, photocopier art, copier art, xerography, which is basically what drives this, it's another word for toner base, but it's often used in photocopier art. Well, I call my version copier configuration art, because basically this is it. I'm configuring, configuring a copier pretty heavily now. Not many people do this stuff. I did actually meet someone in Manly who still does it, which is odd. But he's one of the ones I can't get to through my social media, funnily enough. So basically, he's going to be cleaned up well in the media scrum. Now, the thing is, I'm not doing this as a, as a media stunt, right? So get that straight. I'm not into that sort of silly stuff, you know? But basically, it has to be done for the sake of getting these nerds and geeks inspired because they don't believe in themselves. And I can't get to very many of them. A lot of them I just can't reach. It's so annoying. It's frustrating. You know, the self-destructive behaviour on the street I saw in Melbourne and Brisbane is absolutely a disgrace. It's not, I'm not putting them down, I'm basically gunning for them. I want to help the poor characters. You know, they're not acting like the way geeks and nerds I imagined like they were when I was young. They're behaving out of what we call out of character. It really grieves me. Now, there's a feature clash, okay, BizHub. Now, I keep doing these feature clashes even though I'm so familiar with BizHubs. I've got one in my bedroom. A C353, right? And still, I mean, this is ridiculous. Copier design, it is dumb. Dumb. And people are not happy, including those who, who are in the same demographic as the ones who commissioned the design of these machines. IQ100, neurotypicals, normals, sad. Money and greed is going to bite them. We want to help them eventually, but the nerds have got to be inspired. Otherwise, I can't get them. To, I mean, many of them are inspired, but I can't get to many of them. So we need the media to get through their TVs, my inspiring work. Because laughter and, and, and creativity, believe it or not, works. So we'll just call it rat. We'll just call it rat bag, okay? Because we basically are being treated like we are. Where we are, we behave like rat bags, of course. We're, we don't get, you know, rat bag, okay, I'm a rat bag. But I'm a good rat bag most of the time, but I'm not perfect. Damn, I hate that word. Okay, so we're behaving like rogues and rat bags. Well, if you're a geek, I understand, right? I'm not going to accuse you, I'm not going to dob you into the cops. Those cops are a bunch of rat bags, but I'm not going to make trouble for them. I'm not into that. Intuitively, I've always known that they're a pain, and I don't like to provoke them, right? I've been in trouble with them myself. So, yeah, and they pick on you for anything. And now we've got criminal records for real because we're so disoriented. Now, I'm not disoriented, right? I know what I want, and I know how, why we want it. I want to help mankind. Okay, so, on, so basically, yeah, careful with the bypass. Thank you. So now, I'm just going to... Now we're going to build a self-guided photocopier. Corporations are falling down. Konica Minolta is my takeover target. I've got somebody who wants to help, who's got the money for it. So there we've loaded bypass. Right, we've already set the thing up earlier. Okay. So now we have to do, we've got plain paper. And we just go click. Yep, got to make sure that's all I detect. I think that'll work. Careful, bypass trades a weapon. So, yeah. It's hard to know when you employ it auto function so now we've got bypass set okay it's time now to give the copier system a rumble what we do with this copier system okay let's have a bit of fun with this dumb thing all right there you go Woo. so yeah this bypass tray yeah been someone walked into it and it didn't break isn't that it's one of the great things about chronic and alter there you go, out comes the vapor, out comes the output. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't look too very good, but it's a start. Time to go. Okay. Okay, someone's going to do a print job, but print takes precedent over photocopy. So this thing will cut me off automatically. So we're going to just going to do something. We're going to detour ourselves into something a little bit more sophisticated here. 
Um, but this thing, this is, most people can't work this out. Um, they shouldn't have to. So now we're going to get coloured. Um, I think we're going to cut this off. Um, we're going to show something really funny about this copier. It's a real scream when we do certain functions. So now we're just going to set the colours up first. And now brightness, we're going to go, again, wonder whether brightness first or or set up the RGB functions. Now I'm going to bomb out my money here because, oh man, but you know, I love photocopying, you know. One day we're going to design a self-guided photocopy. We use the best artificial intelligence and get millions of uni grads off the dole queues and out of the streets. And, you know, mankind will benefit because we really want to help. You know, when I was young, I always wanted, I always dreamed of the future. But the future ain't what it used to be. Well, pseudo echo, basically. The future, well, yeah, whatever. Look it up. It's really disappointing. It's a letdown. The future never turned out to be the future. It looks like a load of rubbish. Our planet's in big, big danger. So now we're just going to start with this. We're just going to set the profile now. We're just going to punch it into mode. Yeah, here it is. It's about to print. This is why it's called a multi-function device, MFD. Right. Um, it's very confusing. So we're going to delete rack bag for now. So we're going to rub our wrap bag and we're going to write wrap bag again. Yeah, wrap bag. Wrap bag. Wrap bag. And I'm a wrap bag, but I want to do it for mankind. Got to rebel sometimes. Wrap bag. There you go. Okay, we're going to try something. Um, I don't know if they're going to, if it's going to, if I'm going to get it right. Um, again, you know, sometimes I want to do something, but intuitively I don't get to do it um, but I want to try something there's something funny on this machine that I don't have on my C353 there's a bit of a variation here but I don't know it's going to be a little bit more complicated this is a bit more heavier to understand this is called stamp composition so this is kind of amusing now this one also is a bit different works was more sophisticated than my um, C353 so now we've got density at 100% color auto color now I'm trying to decide if we need the density to be that or we're going to go composition transparent but normally transparent background composition original now this is a bit non-intuitive here so now we've got to do something with this machine that's kind of amusing which will show a funny there it is look at this message so it says here uh, we'll just zoom in on it. We'll just close, bring it closer. Place the overlay images with the selected color. Not sure I really understand. Now, what the hell did Konica Minolta put that in? I reckon it's the I reckon the little guys in the R and D labs were rebelling against the corporate culture of you got to recreate this copier system fast. You got to create this copier system on a tight budget. You're under pressure. We are under pressure. We are sick to hell of being pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. We know this copier system will fail. Well, why? But we have to do it because we will get terminated from our jobs. And that's really, really not right. That is just so bad. So basically, we'll just call it R&D. Or we'll just call it rebellion or rebel. <laughs> All right, we're just going to call it rebel, okay? Yeah, my mother called me that, didn't she? Okay, rebel. Okay, that's it. Okay, we're going to try something. Okay, now this is going to go on the plate first. This is an interesting feature called overlay. Now, this is quite a non intuitive function. It's a very hard function to master, even for a person like me. Um, so, down goes the plate and cover. Well, no, why am I calling it a plate and cover? It's a dock feeder. Duh. That's me, I'm doing it to myself. Now, basically, now we've got to scan this thing into the copier. So, again, I hope I'm doing this right. If this thing's outputting, I'm going to be on. Yep, there it is. That's the first scan. Right. So now we have to remove our original, which is this sucker. Um, and maybe we'll do something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. From a previous demo, we're now going to put this hand, this red hand, which is a makeover. Makeover? No, we're not talking about makeup. I know this place sells makeup. It's a chemist shop. But no, this, this is what we call a make ready in printing terms it's called a make ready it's what you it's when you're trying to get the image right okay make ready okay not make over the industry needs photocopy industry needs a makeover in fact you could say like batman says it needs an enema 
I'm serious, it's not funny. I'm using satire and comedy and, and nerd speak, but this is not funny, right? In the end, human lives and livelihoods are at stake. But, you know, what can we do for the time being? So there we go. Oh, this will drive everyone nuts, the beeping noises. These machines need artificial intelligence. They need to be sentient. That's going to take a lot of time and care to design it. Not for the normal people, I'm afraid. Now, this didn't turn out terribly well. Ugh, yuck. Sorry, mate, I need to get this. So, yeah, I muffed it. I failed up, right? Now, that's silly. Copier systems are indeed a pain in the bum. I'm serious. Now, I've forgotten where to do the colour image first. So, colour, over image that goes over the top will go first. So, I don't know whether to do... We'll do this. We'll do a double double colour, okay? We've got someone... What are you thinking? You're going through this? It's not easy doing this in a public place. Ugh. That's fun. Yeah, it's something different. So now we've got to set copy a system up differently while we're in the fly. Right? So now we've got basically a really wishy-washy... Ah, oh, yes, because when the, the image is... I, think, I don't know, I'm confused. Not sure I really understand, yes. That's quite a tiny little message that comes up on a, on a commercial machine here. It's not sure I really understand. And I feel that way myself. Um, not sure I really understand is basically it now I don't know whether I'm going to get anything good out of this uh, um, but basically now we're just going to try again but yeah not sure I really understand um, it's an interesting term so now we're just gonna now the thing is it's you now I don't it normally wouldn't work in negative mode but this machine my bis hub c353 will not do this in negative mode it will not overlay in negative mode so maybe that's the thing. How do you know the difference between each make and model? I mean, or each build of, or version of BizHub? It's stupid, honestly. I mean, I can't keep track. I don't have access to the industry, but the thing is, it'll take a long time to learn what the difference BizHubs. I mean, Konicum and Alders released so many machines that look similar, but they're all slightly different. Um, it's, yeah, that's the, that's the bypass tray. That's the way it sounds. This one makes a good... Th I like that thumping noise because it's, it's, it signifies it's well made, it's solid. But, you know, but maybe in, in our self-guided photocopier we don't want to make too many thumping noises because normal people don't need to... Oh, man, this is like totally tripping. Yoo! This is worth it. Okay, we're just going to show these up close. So this is the first one we did. And then the second one was a failed attempt at overlay. Well, you can see a few shadows, but I won't throw it out. It could be used for something, I'm sure, reprocessed. And then the third one is like a total, whoa, flowed with my intuition overall. Look at that. Now that's really got X Factor. Look at that. That's the overlay function. That's pretty much at its best. Close, to, well, not at its best. We can't say definitely, but it's pretty close to it. It's very good.